a special thing about the goat is that they really need their heads for balance. And I was watching this video today of a bear uh, attacking these mountain goats on, on a cliff wall. And the bear had no, no chance to catch these goats because it was such a steep cliff. And the bear doesn't have this ability to move their head. I mean, they're really good climbers, but to go down and, you know, do on a side cliff, they just don't have that kind of agility and they don't have those kind of feet. And it was a terrible video because the bear actually fell and died trying to get these goats. And even though they've got claws that can grip, yeah, they don't have the agility to balance the way a goat does. So it's, it's sort of like rock, paper, scissors, you know, the bear is thousand times stronger than a goat, but they don't have that balance and agility of the, a goat. And that's something to keep in mind, you know, like if we feel overpowered by somebody, our balance can save us. Our balance is superior to strength. Yeah. Wow. That's a big message from the goat, you know, that it's not just brute strength, but the agility, the quickness, the ingenuity of finding routes that strength can't follow. Hmm. Right. And it's not that goats aren't strong, but the, this, this ability to sense, and then also to see, cause they have this really cool vision, the rectangular peripheral vision. That's almost 360 degrees. Wow. And like the dragonfly series, I talked about that, that they're some of the most agile insects on the planet, you know, because of their ability to move in all directions. So the goat is just such a master in the ability to turn. So it's really helpful to watch the animals like this and to imagine how can I imitate that? How can I connect with my feet like that when they landed on their feet, right? How could they land like that? just amazing and so sticky on their feet, right? That's what makes a goat a goat. Show what you can do up there, yeah?